Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and nobody asked me about this, but I was helping it, somebody with another project, and, and after they sent me the finished product project done, they had uh, triangles and squares and circles with dashed lines, and I, but they were all together, and I started thinking this would be pretty cool. I went to the extreme as putting a gap in there, but I thought I'm going to show people how to do a triangle like this in case you ever wanted to, you know, do something and have it not fall out, you know, like the triangle. It's almost like a stencil type effect. But go to the polygon tool and we're going to use a four-sided polygon. And I'm going to hold down the control button and make it perfect. But then I'm going to hit P, put it in the center of the paint. That's very important to do that first. And then you can change it to a three-sided and it's in the center of the page. You can see that the center of the page markers are not where the X is on the deal because we're going to rotate that. Now we're going to go double click on the pen tool and make it a 12 point line. We're going to go to object, uh, convert the outline to an object. We're going to left click, right click. Well, let me back up here a step. What I wanted to do is to make that actually round corners. So we can take it, because uh, that's pretty important, windows, dockers, corners. And you can see, I showed this the other day and I, I couldn't reduplicate it. If you're not, if you hadn't really selected, it's gonna show you what your corners are gonna be. So now we're gonna go and make our outline that 12 points. and then go to object, convert the outline into an object, left click, right click, and now we have that. Now we're gonna take a two point line and you can use any amount of degreement of degrees, but we're gonna use 15 degrees. I'm gonna hit plus on the keyboard and I'm gonna rotate that 15 degrees. And then I'm gonna rotate this one a negative 15 degrees. I must not have got the line. Well, my number, sometimes my number key on my keyboard, you just don't, it's either not on or on. Well, type it in here. Well, that's what I need to do anyway, minus 15 degrees. There we go. So, and what we can also do at the same time is take this and make a plus on the keyboard and we're gonna rotate that 45 degrees. And then we're gonna take this one and rotate it 15 degrees, 15 degrees more. So we need 60, no, um, let's make it, we want them equal, so we'll make it 75. That's all we have to do. Now take the Smart Fill tool, fill that in and fill that in. Take those two items, hold down the shift key and select it. Go up to object group and group them together. Control D and make a duplicate of them and then take your rotation to the center. And then rotate that 120 degrees. Control D, 120 degrees. Now you could take away, it'd be better just to go ahead and remove these lines because they're always gonna be kind of be there if you just take them away. And then we can take and left click no line and you have that. Now there's several ways you could do it. You know, this uh, kind of has sharp edges and you could do it, you know, other ways. But the Smart Fill tool can really help you out sometimes when making something like that you know, regardless if it had round corners or square corners. And this is just the same thing. I just rotated two lines 15 degrees and ran it around. And you could almost do that. You know, most people wouldn't think about rotating a triangle. But as long as you're in the center of the page, let's do this. Let's hit P on the keyboard now. Well, ha. let's control G and group them together and then hit P. Look what it did. That's where Corel thinks the center should be, but it's not. 
because it, it, that's the center of, the, of everything. It has to do with something about the weight of the, you know, the numbers or whatever. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit, and thank you for watching.